G'day. A couple of weeks ago I did a video of the Murray River between um, Rovenvale and Mildura and showing the heights and the amount of water coming down. Today I'm a little bit further upstream, I'm heading down to Bendigo Way via Swan Hill so I thought I'd have a look at the river at a few spots between Rovenvale and, and uh, Swan Hill. So I'm at Boundary Bend and the river is really high. There's normally a big sandbar over there by memory. Um, I, I think there might even be a sandbar normally on that corner. Um, there's a, I don't know if there's a boat ramp down there, I'm a little bit confused, but normally there's, a, there's, there's some sort of river access down there, but the, the river's really high um, and flowing quite fast. Um, this little bit here, the water's swirling around quite a bit because there's a little bit of an offshoot back there that runs into the forest a bit but um, she is really high so just to give you an idea of how high it is so that's the river height there for a swirl spin around to the shop you can still see there's quite a bit higher to the shop but normally normally the bank here is, is quite a fair way down to the river but not today so I'm downstream of where the Murrumbidgee comes into the river so I suppose there's you know, a fair bit of water coming down the Murray as well as the Murrumbidgee, so it's probably bottlenecking a little bit upstream from here, but there you go, that's a boundary bend. Okay, so now I'm at Woodwood, and yep, the river's flowing like crazy, and it's very high. It hasn't quite broken the banks on the other side. But, um, Close. There's shit floating down the river. So we're about um, know, 30 or 40 k's from Swan Hill. It'd be interesting to see what the river's like at, at Swan Hill, considering it's this high here. So, just to give you another example, I'll spin around to the shop. So you can see, see, we've still got a fair bit of height before she breaks any records, but. She's certainly pretty high. Um, after Swan Hill, I'm not too sure what flows into the Murray there. The gold went up near Echuca. Maybe somebody can throw some uh, some info in the comments section. What rivers and things flow into the Murray above Swan Hill. Just curious to see how much more, more water's coming into, into the river. Well, there you go. Wow. Here we are at Swan Hill. Won't be getting a paddle steamer under the bridge there. She's uh, pretty high. I'm just trying to keep my footing here before I fall in. Definitely wouldn't fit a paddle steamer under there. She is as full as a goog. Not much room <clears throat> before the park and the caravan park just still along the road. Might have to start worrying a little bit about water. Really cool. There's that bridge again. Some people walking across it, so that's not there. Yeah, she's chuggers. There you go. Slayers. Okay, so here we are at Lake Boga. You wouldn't say this was full, but um, I don't know how much water's in it normally, to tell the truth. I know I said I'd, I'd stop at Swan Hill, but there's a couple of lakes and things, so I thought I'll have a bit of a squeeze. So Lake Boga is pretty popular for water sports and a bit of fishing. I wouldn't be able to catch anything in there though. Nice little place, caravan park down there. So there you go, Lake Boga. 
not full. We'll see what else we can spot between here and Bendigo. Well, I was running out a bit of a bit of time, so I didn't stop anywhere else between um, uh, Lake Boga and Bendigo. But I can tell you that uh, Kangaroo Lake and Lake Charm, um, they seem quite full looking from the road. I was a bit uneasy going off the road to have a look, which was a bit wet. Uh, the Loddon River at Kerrang seemed to be really full, but I haven't got much knowledge of what, where that river normally sits. So maybe some, uh, some people could put some info in the comments there. Um, but generally the, the road right through from Mildura to Bendigo was really, really wet and the ground soaked up that much water. All our catchments are full. I believe the Dartmouth Dam spilling is, and the Hume spilling as well. Um, so there's not much more room for water and the, the ground's already wet. So we certainly don't want any more rain. That's it guys, thanks very much, see ya.